In this example, we'll be removing a background using eraser tools in Acorn. We're going to start by using the Instant Alpha Erase Tool, keyboard shortcut E. This tool works by erasing pixels of a certain color. So click on the color you want to erase, and then increase or decrease the erasing tolerance by dragging inwards or outwards with your cursor. In the Inspector palette, there's the option for Contiguous Instant Alpha. We're going to keep this box checked, as it will help us avoid overly erasing areas of the flower. We want to drag outwards to select as much of the background as possible, without erasing parts of the flower. And it looks like right about there is a nice balance to where the maximum amount of background is removed without allowing areas of the flower to be removed. You can see some little areas were missed. Let's switch to the eraser tool, keyboard shortcut E, and in the inspector palette, we're going to decrease the softness to zero and increase the eraser size. We'll go around and clean up any bits of background remaining. You may need to zoom in or zoom out to clean up certain areas. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. To get the areas close to the petals, we're going to increase the softness a bit so we don't have such a hard edge of erasing. And decrease the eraser size using keyboard shortcut left square bracket. And just work back and forth to remove that color. And we'll repeat that process for the other area towards the bottom of the flower. So now let's zoom back out again and let's have a little fun with this image by adding a new layer and dragging this layer to the bottom of the layers list. Then fill the new layer with white using the flood fill tool. Now we'll use scale and rotate keyboard shortcut command shift T to decrease the size of the flower. And we'll double click to commit the work. Use keyboard shortcuts command C and command V to copy and paste. And we'll just keep duplicating to make a tiling effect. So we just went over the basics of removing a background using eraser tools. There are additional ways of removing backgrounds using selections, blending modes, and filters. So be sure to check out Acorn's documentation for further details.